talk about the person at the center of the controversy because Deadline reported, I'm just asking what I read, Deadline reported that you were on a mission to blow everything up and you were going to, I mean, they use some incendiary language, okay? So I'm trying to get it. You know, no, no, no. I, I think it, it seems like that to the memory. I'm on a mission to change the culture of the union. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. to make it more democratic, to make it more responsive. A lot of people think they have a tin air. They go, oh, I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Yeah. And that's and it kind of ends there. Or they, they do some, they pay lip service, but they don't follow through. So what I'm saying is... Right now we have an issue where they, I find, they were so desperate to impugn me, ignore my 17 year service where I've scattered it around and focus on something which they claim that I didn't show up to the local boardrooms enough. In two years, you know, out of 35 meetings, I only went to two, according to them. Again, don't know how they got those specific numbers, but the main job of a vice president is to back up the president. We have Jane Austen as the president, and she is so on it. The only two times she thought she may not be able to do it, I was getting ready to run those meetings myself. Mm -hmm. It turns out, false alarm, no problem. She handled it. We're in touch. We talk. I don't have to be there every single day. This union was designed for, created by working actors who, have, who are on location. Right. It takes a phone call. You don't have to sit there and show up every day. What you have to do is when you show up and wherever you are to have the resolve to fight for your members. See, because I don't care if you go everywhere and you play the part of the president. If you don't fight for me and my family in that negotiation room, you can be there 365 days a year. It doesn't mean anything. So what we're going to fight back with is, interestingly enough, the president... Um, uh, president mm -hmm. Gabriel Carter, yeah. who, by the way, has never had, we've never had an ill word towards each other. Right. I have nothing but respect for her okay. because she's shown respect for me. But this isn't about her and I. This is about our union. And when people in her faction try to impugn my motives and talk about local board service, they forget the fact that she ran for local board too. And instead of keeping that seat the very next day or shortly afterwards, she resigned and gave it to an unelectable person. Otherwise, they wouldn't need to have that seat. In other words, she gave it to someone in her party. A power play. Okay. A power play of a sort. Well, it's a way to keep a seat in your, in your group. And yeah. that's technically doable, but guess what? If you do that again and run for an office... See, one thing I won't do, and I haven't done, mm -hmm. is ever resigned my seat to just give it to somebody from, from you know, somebody who wouldn't normally be electable. Right. I won't do that. Even if I can't make, a, you know, a two dozen meetings, it doesn't matter. I ran for that seat. I'm going to be in that seat. Whether I'm physically there or not, I pay attention. I know what's up. I know what time of day it is. We know when the important votes are coming in. So it's not like my... Not being there at every meeting affected any of the business, but mm -hmm. they threw that. And if you're going to throw that at me, then I'm going to say, well, she didn't show up once. Not once. And she gave it away to an unelectable person. You know? Yeah. So if you want to play that mm -hmm. and you do that again, we're going to put you up on charges. Because that's election fraud. That's going for an office, using your, your profile, because right. you know that's what people right. vote for. Right. And then showing somebody else in the place. That's not right it's not ethical it may be technically legal but mm -hmm. we'll challenge that legality too because it's against you know department of labor rules in general yeah. so that's what i'm saying if you want to mess with me mm -hmm. oh i'll mess with you back mm -hmm. but don't go there because i'd rather keep our union fighting on the same side than fighting each other